Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Psychic Bella Love and you can book your own personal and private reading with me on my website, which will be linked in the description box below, along with any current active coupon codes. Also, you can find the links to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my backup channel, which is where we will be doing live celebrity readings once we reach the thousand subscribers that YouTube requires for us to go live. And you can also join my Patreon that will also be linked in the description box below. That is the only place where I accept any requests for celebrity video readings. We have all kinds of exclusive content kind of exposing who's in the Jakumatati and all of the evil stuff that really goes on in the industry as well as exclusive lives and all of my content on Patreon is exclusive to Patreon only. So if you want to join that, it will be in the description box below with everything else. Sorry, my allergies are driving me crazy today. So I am going to be just taking a quick look at Bradley Cooper and Irina Shake and seeing if they are actually back together or not because people have been speculating that they are and if you guys missed it when she was dating Kanye West over the summer a lot of people were speculating that Bradley Cooper had an issue with it and supposedly he was interfering and then that was a part of the reason why her and Kanye ended up splitting up so we're gonna take a look real quick and see if they are back together or not. Also, if you are new here, my stand broke, so I'm using an old iPad stand, so we don't have control over the angles, but I am really psychic and I don't need cards. I just use them because I sit down and pre-record lots of videos at once, so it's easier to switch in and out of energy. If something matters, I will hold it up. I already prayed over the cards and gave them a really big shuffle off camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle them once more and ask Spirit about what we got going on here. So please answer. What can we know about Bradley Cooper and Irene Shake's relationship? Thank you. Are they working things out and getting back together or just co-parenting, thank you. Cause in the land of Hollywood, you never know with these co-parenting situations. <laughs> Cause I'm just like, listen, I co-parent and me and my child's father get along well, but like, he better not be trying to get all up in the mix if I'm dating somebody else. And I certainly wouldn't do the same thing to him because we still have our own lives outside of that. But in Hollyweird. <laughs> and she just went to um, his premiere of his latest movie. Um... And people said they didn't walk the red carpet together and he was just kind of trying to play it off a little bit like oh she's just being supportive but again you know it's holly weird and you never know because i know for a minute everybody thought him and uh, jennifer garner were gonna get together after him and irena first broke up and i can see that like i think him and jennifer garner would be cute but then on the other hand, I've heard that Bradley Cooper can be kind of like controlling and like annoying. And I don't think like Jennifer Garner wants that. <laughs> I think she's just kind of like, yeah, you're cool. It's my friend and that's it. Um, so let's see. You know, this is one of those things where unfortunately, you know, he saw it the girl that he couldn't make the big commitment to because Spirit is talking about their breakup being about a lack of him willing to commit further to her and the relationship, you know, at the time because she did want to do things like get married and all of that and he wasn't really like on the same page at that time and I mean, let's face it, he embarrassed the shit out of her with Lady Gaga all over the place. I mean, I don't think anybody was surprised when him and Irina broke up after that. But 
of course, you know, it's one of those cases of I want that old thing back now that I see somebody else enjoying it. And the problem that I see here for Irina is he'll give you another baby girl because I do see another baby coming. We have the page of cups. So don't be surprised if they don't have another little girl. But ultimately, I he's going to end up not giving you what you want and leaving you to parent both of these girls, you know, co-parent basically. Like I gotta just deal with you on that basis. Like there's still not the commitment that she is looking for ultimately with him. He'll tell her that's what's going on. But this is the thing too, like a lot of these guys in Hollywood, he wants to do what he wants to do in his own time when he wants to and then come home to the family, you know? And it's like, you can't be out here cheating and running around with a different girl every day and then expect that you still have the wife and the family at home and you're ready to go play house. But that's where he's at with things. And unfortunately, she's still very much in love with him. And so she does feel like, okay, this is our second chance and for us to work things out. And I do get that she is in a very happy place right now, feeling like everything is going to move forward in a better way. However, we've got the devil card with the death card here talking about nothing has really changed. The same patterns that caused the split last time around is the same this time. And, you know, then poor Irina, it's like, she still doesn't, I mean, I feel bad for her. Like, you know, this is the thing. And I don't have anything against Bradley Cooper. I don't, again, like, I don't really know a whole lot about him to care one way or the other. Like, he's a good actor. But it's just, I mean, I felt as a woman for her, like, when he is fawning all over Lady Gaga, like, at every award show and stuff. And it's like, okay, there's a way to handle press for a movie. And then there's the way that you're doing it. Like making it seem really super obvious that you and your co-star co fell in love with each other, that you're enamored by her. And the woman who just gave birth to your child is just sitting there like watching you act like this publicly in front of, you know, plain in her face. And then she tries to move on and then you go and try to interfere in that and you go try to get her back. But you're only going to do the same shit all over again to her. Like, grow the fuck up. Nobody deserves that. If you can't sit your ass down in one spot, then know better and go work on yourself so that you can manage to do that so that you do deserve what you're trying to get. Or leave her alone to go find somebody that does want those things because you're just wasting her time and that shit's going to come back to you, Bradley. Because <clears throat> someday she's going to find some guy that loves the fuck out of her and does treat her right and then you're gonna wake up and realize that all these women you did this to moved on with their lives and they're happy with other people and you're alone and that's your karma spirit what else do we need to know about these two coming up thank you I don't know what cycle the moon is in today, but I have no time for your shit, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know anything about Irina Shake either. All I knew was that she was really pretty and a Victoria's Secret model, and she was Bradley Cooper's baby mama, and then she dated Kanye, and I don't know anything else about that girl, but I'm just like, be nice to people. Jesus Christ. Like, don't waste people's time and lie to them and make them think you're going to give them something that they want so desperately and waste their time because at least that way she can deal with the disappointment and heal and move on and find somebody who does want the same things that she does. Because, you know, the, the saddest part about this is that I just keep getting that she's going to end up with a really big broken heart and disappointed because what he's leading her to believe 
is not what he's going to give her. And it really is this whole thing of spirit saying misleading energy, giving you the idea that my intentions are something else however it's not i'm still gonna cheat on you again i'm still going to leave you again after promising you the world telling you how much i love and care about you but there's always going to be somebody else in the way and spirit's saying he has a big tendency to cheat with his co-stars or people that he works on sets with that's usually where his cheating happens. It's, co you know, like workplace romance kinds of things. And even if it's not a co-star, then it's a production assistant or, you know, a writer or somebody else because he has a tendency to not keep his personal um, and business life separate completely and while he's good at picking people who don't go out and tell everybody hey I was hooking up with Bradley Cooper because obviously if Lady Gaga had been saying that that would have been like not good for her you know because why are you sleeping with a man who has a whole entire fiance and baby at home and don't you have somebody at home too like so, of course, some, when you're hooking up with Lady Gaga or a production assistant who's also married, because Spirit's saying he purposely picks people who are in relationships because then you don't want to jeopardize what you have by telling because then you're also going to mess up your life. But he doesn't stop doing it. And it's every time it's like, oh, I'm I'm great as long as I'm not working. But the second that I go back to work, you can't trust me again. Who wants to live like that? Nobody. I read not run for your life. Please, God, like because you can avoid this. Like play his ass. He deserves it because he's going to play you and you're going to end up so broken hearted. And spirit is saying Unfortunately, this is one of those situations where the second time around the disappointment isn't any easier, it's harder. Because now you're blaming yourself for giving him another chance to do this to you. So it, it's just, again, like I said, I just keep getting, she's gonna get cheated on and left again and it's not gonna be good and she's just gonna be so disappointed and heartbroken but he needs to realize I'm not capable of really being in a relationship like that. And if I really love this woman, that it bothers me to think about her really moving on with somebody and it's coming from a place of love and not ego, then go to therapy. Go fix yourself so that you can be the man that she needs you to be. But otherwise, leave her alone, let her move on. And Spirit saying, you know, just like Sierra, she's going to find her Russell Wilson when she heals from all of this. So at least that's the good thing that we have to look forward to with that. And he's going to move on to somebody else like he always does. So anyways, guys, I am going to go. I have to go grab my kid from school. I did not think I was going to get so upset with Bradley Cooper today, but yeah, never know what's popping. Anyways, I hope everybody is having a good day. Let me know what do you think? Are you surprised? I mean, I heard that he was awful to Jennifer Espinoza um, when they were married, but that was like, what, like in the early 2000s or something? So I think like everybody kind of forgets about that. Like I forgot about it until right now and Spirit reminded me. So let me know in the comments. And if you wanted to book your own personal and private reading, Join my Patreon, follow the backup channel, or my Instagram. That will all be linked in the description box below, and I will see you guys all again later.